We've got lots to discuss for your election day forecast. We are tracking a few showers this morning as well as fairly warm and windy conditions. Widespread rain is more likely as we get into the afternoon hours. And we are tracking up partly cloudy skies and cooler weather as we get into your day on Wednesday. If we go ahead and take a quick check at the radar, nobody across our region is seeing shower activity just yet, but we are monitoring a line of storms that is just off to our west. This is going to track over our region slowly as we go throughout the entire day today, and it's a part of a much larger system that is back towards our west. You can see that cold front draped across Oklahoma and Texas. This is what is going to track over our region as as we go throughout the day today. A live look from Carbondale. Not too much going on out there. It's certainly very warm and very windy for a lot of us out there. We're talking about temperatures this morning that are at 70 degrees across Carbondale, 67 for Dixon Springs and 68 for Paducah, as well as Union City, 71 for Poplar Bluff in southeastern Missouri. We're also seeing very strong southerly winds right there. It's 22 for Carbon or Cape Girardeau, 23 for Carbondale, 20 for Union City, and nine miles per hour across Union City, Tennessee. Now, as we continue throughout the next couple of hours, we'll likely continue to see those gusts. Your winds stick around today. We could see wind gusts potentially as high as 35 miles per hour through most of the morning and into the afternoon hours. Today would be a great day to keep the storm track three up right there in the palm of your hand because we are tracking several chances for showers and storms again through seven o'clock. I really don't think we're going to see too much in terms of shower activity other than in our western counties. But notice as the cold front closes closes in on our region, those shower chances certainly are going to become pretty elevated and pretty widespread by 12 o'clock. I think a lot of our western counties are going to be getting in on that shower action. We'll likely continue to see showers push through likely through the middle of the afternoon hour. Hours. I suspect that the best window for shower activity in southern Illinois is going to be between about 12 p.m. and then likely through about 3 to 4 o'clock in the afternoon. After that cold front pushes through, we'll likely start to dry out, but we'll certainly still see widespread rain through 6 o'clock this afternoon in our eastern counties. We may even see a few lingering showers early tomorrow morning, mainly across western Kentucky and northwestern Tennessee. Otherwise, I think all of us will remain dry. Now tomorrow morning we will likely wake up to temperatures in the mid 50s. High temperatures tomorrow are only going to be in the lower 60s, so it'll certainly feel a lot cooler than where we have been over the last couple of days, but it will be a little bit more normal for where we should be this time of year. Now I don't expect any severe weather today, but we certainly do have a medium risk of flash flooding, especially for the eastern half of our viewing area. So certainly make sure to keep that app handy and keep an eye on any alerts that you may get. Always remember, turn around, don't drown. In terms of additional rainfall totals, we're talking about anywhere from three quarters of an inch to maybe one and a half inches in the heaviest of spots. Of course, locally higher totals can't entirely be ruled out. Storm Track 3 app always helpful to keep in the palm of your hand as we go throughout days like today, where we do have those widespread shower activities. High temperatures today are only going to be running around 71 degrees. Once the cold front pushes through, temperatures will fall back down into the mid 60s. Again, that best chance for rain is likely going to be arriving between about 12 p.m. and 6 p.m. Shower chances should it decrease after that. We'll likely see temperatures tomorrow into the mid 60s, mid 60s as well for Thursday and for Friday. We can't entirely rule out a couple of isolated shower chances for Wednesday and Thursday, but those chances should remain well to our south across western Kentucky and northwestern Tennessee. We'll see a better chance though for storms as we head into the weekend.